video is a continuation of our transfer series. We're going to look at transfers using a tub transfer bench, both from the wheelchair level and from using a walker. So let us know what you think and leave your comments below. The next transfer we're going to talk about is wheelchair to tub bench. I think this is a really common transfer that people tend to um, benefit from a little extra coaching. So the first thing we want to talk about is where the front leg of the tub bench should go relative to the wheelchair. It should ideally split between the large wheel and the front caster. So we want this to be kind of angled in this way. So right now, I'm going to lock the brake, and oftentimes when you lock the brake, it pushes you out of position. So after locking the brake, I'm going to kind of pivot Kelsey back toward uh, the tub. So again, we're at that kind of 30 degree angle, and we have both wheels split with that front um, leg of the tub bench. From here, Oftentimes I'll see clinicians try to give support from behind, but you're at a mechanical disadvantage. So I'll get my clinicians to come forward to either side saddle the tub or actually sit inside of it to then do the transfer over. So from here, if she's doing kind of a squat pivot or a slide board, I'm gonna get this armrest out of the way. And then from here, we're gonna do the same things we always do, which is I'm gonna cue my patient to sit forward. So as soon as Kelsey can help them. I'm going to put my arms underneath and she's going to do a squat pivot over. Now when she does this, if it were an actual shower, she'd be naked. So we'd really want to make sure that we don't have her butt scrape against the wheel itself. Standard breezy chairs that people often have in hospitals <clears throat> have solid rubber wheels. So there's not a lot of um, shrug to kind of take off skin, but it can still cause a lot of skin damage or bruising. So you want to make sure that when they scoot forward, their butt is gonna clear where that wheel is. So again, she's coming over my side here, and she's really just aiming to get her butt onto this little pad here. So I'm gonna have her do a little half transfer to get to the edge of the chair, because the chair doesn't fit her well, good. And then from here, I'm gonna readjust her feet so she doesn't get caught on the wheel. I'm gonna angle her toes, so that way they'll be aligned up properly when she moves over, because we don't want to put a lot of torque on the knee. And then from here, I'm gonna cue her to push, yep, her hand is nice and close to her butt, up and over. So from there, she looks great. I'm gonna get out of her way and help her if she needs to to get her feet in. Awesome, and then she scoots in there again. Oftentimes, when your patients are sitting on that edge of the tub there, they'll get very nervous and they'll try to sit backward. You wanna prevent them from leaning backward because when Kelsey leans backward, her butt slides forward. So although it's counterintuitive for your patient, you really want their legs here, and when they start to fall forward, you want them to lean forward further because it'll scoot their butt back. And your job is really just to push those hips back into the chair. And that is a tub transfer. So for getting in and out of the tub using a walker, um, I show my patients two different ways. And a lot of times I practice those two different ways with them and see what works best for them. So one option is coming into the bathroom and then we're actually gonna do them to back up all the way to the tub so they fill it behind them and take a seat. Then pivot those legs around and into the tub. And they can scoop until they're showering. Um, one little trick here, if they have trouble getting their legs all the way up, you can um, teach them to use a leg lifter to loop it around their feet and pull their legs in or even the loop of a towel to help with those legs. And it's the same thing getting out, pivoting to the edge, having their walker still there nice and close, and reaching with, for the back of the tub before they stand up. The second option is to actually use the wall. This works better for someone who has grab bars in their tub. Um, but coming up to the wall and turning that walker to the side and either using the wall for support or those grab bars, stepping up nice and close, then lifting one leg over, then the other, and then backing up to the bench to take a seat. They would do the same thing to get out. Maybe they need the grab bar for help to stand. Come up to the edge of the wall. Use that wall as they come over and stepping out of the tub. That's two different ways to do a tub transfer with a walker.